respiratory therapists are vital members of the healthcare team. They work with patients of all ages and provide care to ultimately help them breathe easier. However, before you can start a career as an RT, you must first obtain a license and credentials. Then you are required to keep them active throughout your career. In this video, we will discuss the requirements for earning credentials, obtaining a state license, and meeting the necessary requirements to keep them up to date. So if you're ready, let's get into it. First, let's talk about credentials. Credentials are essentially proof that you have completed the educational and or clinical requirements necessary to work as a respiratory therapist. Therefore, in order to sit for the credentialing exams, you must first graduate from an accredited respiratory therapy program. Once you have graduated, you will then need to pass two separate exams, the TMC exam and the clinical SIMS. After passing both exams, you will earn the Registered Respiratory Therapist or RRT credential. This makes you eligible to apply for a license in the state in which you wish to practice respiratory care. Now let's talk about getting your license. In addition to having the necessary credentials, a license is required in order to practice respiratory care in all states. To obtain a license, you must first graduate from an accredited respiratory therapy program, pass the board exams, and earn credentials. Once you have done so, you will need to submit an application to your state's licensing board along with the required fee. After your application has been reviewed and approved, you will receive your license and be able to practice respiratory care in your state. Another important thing that we need to discuss is how to maintain your credentials, because unfortunately, it is very common for RTs to let them expire. In order to maintain your credentials as a respiratory therapist, you will need to participate in the Credential Maintenance Program, or CMP. The CMP is a program offered by the NBRC that requires respiratory therapists to recertify their credentials every five years. There are three ways to do so. Number one, complete assessments or submit CEUs. Number two, pass the previous board exam for your highest credential. And number three, pass a new NBRC credentialing exam. And one important note about this program is that basically if you've received your credentials on or after July 1st, 2002, you will be required to participate in the CMP program in order to maintain your MBRC credentials. However, if your credentials were awarded prior to July the 1st, 2002, you are not required to participate in this program. In this case, you are basically grandfathered in, per se. But as previously mentioned, the first method of maintaining your credentials is to complete assessments or submit CEUs. The MBRC offers quarterly assessments that must be completed by a specific date. Each assessment is basically a quiz that is designed to test your knowledge of the latest respiratory care information and guidelines. If you answer enough of the assessment questions correctly throughout a term, your credentials will be renewed and you will not be required to submit CEUs. CEU stands for Continuing Education Units. They are nationally recognized credits that quantify the amount of time spent in the professional development of respiratory care. CEUs can be earned by attending workshops, conferences, and other educational events related to the field of respiratory care. As previously mentioned, if your assessment score is high enough, you will not be required to submit CEUs to the MBRC. However, if your assessment scores are low, you may be required to submit up to 30 CEUs. The next method for maintaining your credentials is to pass the previous board exam for your highest credential. However, one thing to keep in mind is that if you hold multiple NBRC credentials and elect to use this option, you must pass the exam for the highest level credential that you hold. For example, if you previously obtained the RRT ACCS credential, which is the Adult Critical Care Specialty, you must retake and pass this exam since it is your highest credential. And on top of that, to use this option, you must retake the exam during the final year of the five-year credential period. 
and if you successfully pass the exam, a new five-year term will begin on that date. And the third option that I mentioned is to pass a new NBRC credentialing exam. Passing an NBRC exam that you did not previously take automatically extends the credentialing period for all credentials you hold for an additional five years. This means that all of your NBRC credentials will have the same expiration date. Therefore, you will be able to maintain all of your credentials at once. Now, I know we all get busy with work and our lives and stuff, but I can't stress enough how important it is to stay on top of your credentials and have a plan each year for how to maintain them and keep them up to date. But you may be wondering, what happens if my credential expires? Well, unfortunately, if your credential expires, you will no longer be able to practice respiratory care in the United States. And this happens far too often, but the good news is that there is a path for reinstating them. If you are within a six month time period of expiration, you can still submit your CEUs online and pay a $250 fee for reinstatement. The CEUs must have been earned during the most recent five year term for this option to work. However, if you are more than six months past the expiration date of your credential, unfortunately, you will need to retake and pass the MBRC exams for all previously held credentials. This is why I keep stressing that you have to stay on top of it. And people also commonly ask how to document CEUs. Well, if you decide to submit CEUs to the MBRC in order to maintain your credentials, you will need to document them properly. This involves participating only in approved educational activities, such as lectures, panels, workshops, seminars, and online education programs. Again, you must be diligent about ensuring the CEU is approved before spending your valuable time and money. Then you must submit your CEUs to the MBRC website and pay the required fees prior to the expiration date of your credentials. Your credentials will expire if you do not meet the deadline. But enough about credentials for now, you also need to know how to maintain your license. In order to keep your respiratory therapist license active, you must meet the requirements of your state's licensing board. This may vary from state to state, but it generally involves completing CEUs and renewing your license on an annual or biannual basis. You may be able to complete your CEUs online, but some states require that you attend in-person workshops and conferences. You will also be required to pay a renewal fee, which can range from $20 to $300, depending on the state in which you work. So be sure to check with your state's licensing board for these specific requirements. And if you want to support the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you'll enjoy. And I'll drop links to the most important resources down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.